Hello you, this is Jenny with Budget Determined, and today we are going to be doing a recap of how we did in our September budget. How was your guys' weekend? Um, I spent most of the weekend, I was very busy and productive, um, making products and working on towards restocking my shop, as well as, of course, watching the new Hocus Pocus 2. If you guys also watched it, let me know what you think. I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't as, you know, it's never the first, but it was actually still pretty good. So if you haven't watched it, go check it out. Um, got a lot of Bette Midler in them. So anyways, you guys, we're going to get right into here. Uh, this year I'm using the Legend Budget Book, and I'll post the link down below for this book. It kind of runs as a month to month and is fairly simple, but I like simple, and I customize it to fit what we are doing. Um, so we are going to be going to September here. And you guys, we made all of our goals that we'd made for ourselves. Um, we've been harvesting and canning from the garden, freezing stuff. I've also been doing baking from using ingredients from the garden and putting that stuff away in the freezer for later, like zucchini bread and such. Um, we were able to pay a little bit extra on our debt. Our main focus is building future debt minimum payments because my husband's paycheck does not cover our monthly full costs. It doesn't, it doesn't cover, it covers everything except for our minimum debt payments. So, and with me having to recently quit my job, um, we are just trying to work this stuff out through side hustles and then we set it aside in an envelope and try to save it up for future months and get it covered. So that is what we did. So let's jump right into my wallet here. This is correct. We should have no money in the food budget and we should have 17 in the gas. So this is where we keep the food money. It is in fact empty. <laughs> and in the fuel envelope, we are going to be going 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So that all matches and we have stayed within budget on there. Um, our budget is pretty simple. We just do gas and groceries every month, and then we also, we cut out spending money with the new adjustment of our budget, and we just have pets and a little bit miscellaneous for, like, cleaning supplies and, you know, deodorant, shampoo, the, the small little things that are needed. And I don't know if the $20 is always going to hack it. Most months it does, but some months I feel like we're going to have to put some maybe side hustle money into that. Just because we usually buy certain items in bulk, and that tends to be more than $20. And we usually need a little bit of something every month. But we'll, we're going to play around with it, and we'll adjust as needs. This will be... October will be the first month that we are doing our budget with just my husband's income plus whatever we bring in side hustle wise. So it will be interesting to see how what we are trying to do works out and you know we'll figure it out. There's, there's a lot of trial and error seeing what works for you and what doesn't. So but you guys okay look here Okay, so we managed to add an extra, that was our side hustle, we managed to add an extra $50 to our food stock up fund. We're saving up for a side of beef, and I'm bumping my camera here. And that should be coming up in November, and we don't know the exact cost of it. We think we have all of the money needed for it, but we want to... There's like a flex zone there, depending on how much weight it weighs in out and what the costs are for whatever cuts we want. So that being said, we need to have, I'd rather have a little bit extra in there 
rather than be short. We added a few dollars to our vehicle fund that covers everything vehicle, it covers tabs, repairs, um, registration, stuff like that. It just doesn't, that just doesn't fuel fund. Fuel fund is separate. New driver, my son is going to be doing driver's ed coming up this next year. It's not a big major thing um, as far as a rush to save for as we have a little bit of time, but we do want to slowly save up for that. So we were able to add a little bit to that. Uh, the birthday fund, um, as I said, went a little bit over budget and uh but that has been covered that money has been gone and spent it was a great birthday thank you guys all for the birthday wishes by the way i really appreciate it um and into our future minimum debt payment to cover what we're short each month um we added 892 dollars and coming to the very back through a side hustle from Etsy, I took $391 of income. Other money went to, we set it aside for taxes. And I always, I think I'm taking, I'm setting aside a little bit more than what I really need to. But I, again, I would like to err on the side of caution. And if I have money left over after tax season, then we'll just put that money towards debt, maybe part of it back into the business. I, I don't know. We'll figure out. We'll figure it out once we are there and we even see if we have anything extra. So, and then of course goes to supplies, shipping costs, etc. Other income through our other side hustles, we brought in 1,312. So our total was $1,703, which is pretty dang good. I think, um, we managed to pay an extra 200 in debt and total saved was $1,430. Now that does include the future minimum debt payment to cover those months and which is going to be our number one focus for saving for this month. Our number two is to make sure that we have that food stock up envelope added to and make sure that we have that covered. Um, my husband's going to need a new pair of glasses coming up, so I want to set money aside for that. Self-love, that is just for haircut money. Um, we're not doing anything else for fancy or whatever. Just simply haircut money. And then vehicle, uh, our pickup truck is going to need yet another repair. Um, it's going to run approximately just under $1,300. So we got a side hustle and saved that money as well. And we're not gonna get all of these fully funded this month, but we're going to do what we can. Our debt balance besides our mortgage um, totals $97,901. So let's see what the debt change was from last month. So our debt last month was 99,498. Again, this is all of our debt outside of the mortgage. It does not include mortgage. And minus our new debt. 9,000, I'm sorry, I wish 9,000, 97,901 equals, we went down 1,597. I will be happy with that. We are making progress, so yes. Alrighty, you guys, so that is basically the gist of that. Now, I did say that I was going to have a little bit of info, um, and we're going to kind of see how things go. Um, not sure entirely how to feel about it. 
but uh, my husband's employer has let us know that um, they're not sure that they can keep my husband on where he's working and so we are trying to figure out that we are still waiting to hear so that might be an additional challenge we have coming up here um, you know when it rains it pours but there's always a rainbow after the storm right so hopefully the storms don't last too terribly long and hopefully some positives come from all of this um, I'm sure you guys are facing your own challenges just let it be known you're not alone um, we can all get through this so but we're making progress so yay victories Anyways, you guys, I will be announcing the winner of our 250 subscriber giveaway. I will be doing a drawing video specifically for that. And we will be doing that, I'll be posting that on Wednesday. So keep an eye out for that. And I will do my best to tag the winner in that. Um, and I will make that notification both on Instagram as well as on my YouTube channel here. So you guys will watch me draw the name. I've been busy writing up the names and we'll be cutting out the names in strips and putting them in a hat. So yeah, we're just going to do the drawing the old fashioned way. So if you guys are new to this channel, please like, subscribe, and follow. Um, click the notification bell so you can see when I upload my videos. Um, I try to post every Monday and Friday. I try to post early in the morning, but sometimes there's a little bit of flex room. Family comes first and health comes first. And I'm a chronic illness warrior, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, and you know, have appointments and whatnot. So that stuff kind of takes priority, but I will get around to it and stay on top of things as much as I can. Um, and my next giveaway will be at 500 subscribers. And we are already over 300 subscribers, so I have a feeling that we are going to reach the 500 soon. And you guys, it is getting exciting. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. Bye.